Hey, what's up? This is Nicole. Reloaded. And we're loaded up. And we're loaded up for another video. Now, here we have Pastor Antonio Rockamore, the Powerhouse International Ministries in Chicago, Illinois. Now, this pastor threw out possibly a transgender or a man that was dressed in women's clothing out of a church. Now, God loves all of us with all of his heart. And if we give our life over to him, he will love us and protect us and shield us from the enemy. God, Jesus, Yahshua HaMashiach, is God in love. Love, God, God, love. I do not believe that it was appropriate the way the situation was handled. Churches have rules. I've been to a church before where I was told that my clothing was inappropriate, that I wasn't dressed right. I was called out um, actually right there in the middle of the church. I was devastated. I was embarrassed and I felt ashamed. Um, they made me feel as if I was a, a whore. Um, they're trying to seek out the women's husbands in the church that I was some form of a Jezebel. Um, and it was definitely disrespectful and very hurtful. God loves his people. That's not the way a situation like that should be handled. If the rules are not being followed properly, that the pastor and the ministry has put in place for that church, especially the church of God in Christ, the rules on dressing are very strict. The decent thing would have been is not to stop the whole ministry or whatever, was to just, I mean, like I told my pastor at the time, why don't you have a closet here for people that you feel that might come in here dressed inappropriately in all different sizes, shoes, socks, undergarments, sanitary napkins, so on and so forth. There's a lot of tithing and people that make really good money here and have old clothes that I'm sure. It's a lot of women that have lost a lot of weight here um, that can provide clothing to people that really, really need it to dress according to the ministry's guidelines. But no one should be thrown out of, out of a church. That's how people kill themselves. Anyway, let me go ahead and read this article. Pastor Antonio Rockamore, the powerhouse international ministries in Chicago, Illinois, is coming under fire from advocates of the LGBT community for publicly rebuking a male member who came to his church dressed as a woman Sunday night. In response, Rockamore said that the male member had been repeatedly warned that he would not be allowed to dress like a female during worship service. A clip of Rockamore open rebuke of the church member who was not identified in the video was first highlighted by Christian James, I cannot pronounce his name, Lou Herlin, who insisted that the member should not have been rebuked. So, James, which I can't pronounce his last name, says, some of y'all are going to have to excuse my language, but I am tired of this shit. In a place that is supposed to be a place of change, a place of deliverance, whatever you want to call it, why would you destroy someone in front of a room of people? I agree with you, Mr. James. Why in the world would you destroy someone in the room full of people? This kind of bull crap that causes people to go home and commit suicide. Shh. Like this is the reason that the church has no power in 2018 because they're so worried about the wrong things. I know drag queens and transsexuals that can pray you out of a sickness faster than some of these preachers that collect your love offerings every Sunday, he continued. I would have turned that church clean out. Do you hear me? It's time for us to stand up for what we believe and stand in our truth and walk away from the, these ministries that bash who we are. Too many illegitimate relationships have been created trying to conform to a mold you were never meant to fit. 
I have a great deal of respect for the house of God, but I wish upon wishes upon wishes that had been me. The city of Chicago would never forget my name. I think it's Luhir, 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 her ended. I'm sorry. I didn't jack that name all the way up. The clip has since been viewed more than a hundred thousand times. In a complete recording service on the church Facebook page, Rockamore's public rebuke of the member began about after 25 minutes of spirited praise and worship. He also prefaced the rebuke with comments about biblical standards of holiness. The presence of the Lord is here. If you stop believing, standing for something, you will fall for anything. And God can't move the way he wants to because of the standard. He set a standard. Stand by him, even if it costs you friends, because you've always been approved by heaven. You'll always be approved by heaven. I'm at a point in my life where I'd rather heaven be pleased with me than people speak to me. Speaking to me don't bother or stop where I'm going, he said. He then warns his members to guard their minds before calling out the young man dressed like a woman to step out into the aisles of the church. Can you leave my church and go and put on man clothes, he asked firmly, and don't come here like no, and don't come here like that no more, he continued as someone can be heard in the video declaring, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. I hold a standing in here. Whatever you do on the outside is your business, but I will not let drag queens come in here. And if you're going to come in here, you're going to come here dressed like a man. And if you're a man dressed like a man, if you're a woman dressed like a woman, I'm not going to allow it. My salvation is more important. God is holding me accountable, he added. You will not be wearing weaves and heels and fooling me up in here. In a follow-up response to those criticizing his rebuke of the young man, Rockamore explained that the young man had been a member of his church for several months and had expressed a desire to reflect manhood as expressed in the Bible. As a part of his agreement in joining the church, Rockamore said the young man said he would abide by the rules of the church. He said that the church also had been working privately with him and warned him several times about dressing appropriately for church. He was not put out the church because he was gay. First of all, I don't bash nothing. I don't separate sin. Sin is sin. There is no need to bash one or the other if you're preaching the word, Rockamore said. When you join my church, all the rules and regulations is told to you then. If you ever slip up, in parentheses, on the rules, we will still take you privately and go over them again. This particular situation, This young man was told several times privately. I went to him personally myself, the pastor. Rockamore said he warned him about the church rules and told him he couldn't dress like a female in church. He verbally agreed to follow the church rules, but he still continued dressing like a woman. On Sunday night, he challenged the pastor publicly during the worship service. Rockamore said he was forced to rebuke him publicly. He challenged me publicly, and I challenged him back publicly. I asked the young man to leave. There was no security to take him out. Sir, you can please change your clothes, he said. Wow. (sighs) This just breaks my heart. There are so many people that are going through so much. The church needs to be filled with love. I understand that there's rules and there's regulations, but I will never forget when I was called out at church because I was dressed inappropriately and falsely accused of something that I didn't do and embarrassed in front of that whole church. I slipped into a depression. I still haven't been back to church since then. I praise God over the phone with Welling and Women and Men's Ministry and I call in to hear the word of God. If you're interested in that, you can go to my about section. The information is there. Um, Prophetess Deborah is a great uh, woman. She teaches the Bible in Hebrew if you're interested in that. So you can get the word of God. Talk to you in Hebrew. I just, 
I know that there is rules and that, you know, sin is sin. There's no sin bigger than the next. The only difference in sin is the consequence. We are not supposed to be judging other pe- other other people. But this is this man's church and what I guess he says is what he can do in his domain and his worship. I believe that this situation was handled um, in a way that was extremely inappropriate. And it just doesn't, to me, represent a, a place of love to embarrass someone like that. And you know it was on Facebook Live on top of that where over 100,000 people or possibly millions could possibly see this exchange. I understand respecting God's rules. And God, if I am wrong, please forgive me in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit if I'm wrong for this. But I just don't, the God that I know and that I believe in is filled with love and forgiveness. And this young man was there to get love and understanding of God's word. We need to start loving one another and start judging and pointing fingers. Stop the attacks. Go ahead and check the video. The pastor will be talking up next. Make sure that you like this video. Make sure you share, comment, subscribe, and all that good shit. Please, holla at your girl. I love you, I love you, I love you. Please leave your comments below. Please leave your comments below. Can you step out in this aisle? Mm-hmm. Talking to you, step out this blue pole. Yeah, you. Can you step out in the aisle? Please? He is not a stranger off the street. Can you step out in this aisle? Mm-hmm. Talking to you, step out this blue pole. Yeah, you. Can you step out in the aisle, please? <laughs> Can you leave my church and go put on main clothes? And don't come here like that no more. Thank you, Jesus. I, I hold a standard in here. Mm-hmm. Whatever you do on the outside, is your business. But I will not let drag queens come in here. And I'm gonna come in here, you're gonna dress like a man. Now, whatever you do on the outside, that's your business. But when you come in this house, if you're a man, dress like a man. If you're a woman, you dress like a woman. I'm not going to allow it. My salvation is more important. And God is holding me accountable. Now, whatever you do outside these doors, I don't bash, I don't judge. But when you come in here, you will not be a drag queen. Amen. Amen. The Holy Ghost tell me in my spirit that this drag queen sitting here with wigs on, I'm going to ask you to be removed from this sanctuary. Because you cannot, I will not play this thing. You will not, I don't care if you don't clap and you don't like it, don't come here. You will not be playing wigs and heels. And not, I repeat, he is not a stranger off the street. Okay. I heard somebody said he was a he was a visitor and he and he came in off the street and we lost a soul. He was a visitor. See, that's not accurate. Okay? That's not accurate information. All right. He is a full member of the Powerhouse International Ministries. He's a member of Powerhouse. Been a member of uh, I think he joined earlier in the year. He's a member of Powerhouse International Ministry. That's not a stranger off the street, and we <laughs> and we uh, pointed him out. No, that wasn't it. Okay, that wasn't it. Let me let me give you the let me give you the story. So when you go and make your lives and all this, you can have true facts. Okay. It was also told that he was put out because he was gay. Another false story, okay? Not the right information. He was not put out the church because he was gay. First of all, anybody that know me will even comment on on here. I don't care where they're from, all around the country will tell you this about me. First of all, I don't bash nothing, okay? Because the reason why I don't bash nothing because when you start bashing things, then you separating them. I don't separate sin. Sin is sin. There's no need to bash one or the other if you're preaching the word. Okay? <clears throat> so let's get that straight. Don't bash. Okay? Uh, never have, never will. 
because when you again when you single something out when you bash it, it to me it just don't make sense because if it's sin it's just sin so I didn't he did not get put out because he was gay let's get that correct let's 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 give you another fact because I kind of took in all of this um that uh he was told not to come back to the church false somebody also said that I told my security to grab him and take him out of the sanctuary. All this stuff. See, the devil like mess. None of that never happened. Never happened. Okay, here we go. This young man, okay, is a member of the church. Anybody that ever joined my church, and if I got members on here now, they will vouch for this. <clears throat> Because you have your choice. When you join my church, all the rules and regulations is told to you then. Okay? If you even slip up with something that we said, we would still take you privately and go over them again. This particular situation, this young man was told several times in private. Okay? I went to him personally myself. He came and said, well, first of all, he said on the microphone publicly, and if anybody uh, on here, my members would vouch for this. He said, I joined this church because I wanted to sit under a man and I wanted you to lead me and show me how to become a man. This is what he said. I had a private meeting with this young man. We went over all kinds of things. I talked to this young man. I told him, I said, now, whatever you do outside the church, all I can do is pray for you outside the church. I said, but when you come in the house of God, there's certain things I, we just don't allow. It's a rule. I said, you cannot dress like a female. Okay? You cannot dress like a female uh, coming to church. Now, if that's what you, you know, uh, choose to do outside the church, I just pray for you. There's nothing I can do. That's between you and God. I said, but when you come here, okay, uh, if you can respect my rule, I, and, the, and, the, and the young man said, okay. My mother went to him. Again, we, we was going back and forth because he did it again. Said, did, 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 did Pastor go over the rule? The mother of the church said, did Pastor go over the rules with you? He said, yes. She said, well, you know, we, you know, you can't dress like a female, whatever, 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 whatever. Again, that's the rule of the house. That's just the rule. He did good. He slipped up again. And we, and we addressed it privately. Now, don't nobody know this is going on privately. Okay. Uh, same young man. Well, he was doing good for a while. For a long time, doing good. This is what I feel. Somebody got in the young man ear, and he, you know, I guess sent them off, pumped them up. You can do what you want to do, dress how you want to. Woo, woo, woo. All this stuff been going on privately. Well, he challenged me publicly once again. He challenged me publicly. Okay, now. I challenged him back publicly, okay? I asked the young man to leave. There was no security taking him out. There was no, I don't know what kind of, I don't know what they talking about. None of that happened. He was not put out because he was gay. None of that happened. Sir, can you please change clothes? Until then, and this is what I said, okay? If, if, if you want to come back here, come back here, dress like a man. You are, you are a member. You know better. Okay? You're not a stranger off the street. Now, if I got any females on here <clears throat> that's a member of my church, I have a rule in my church for females. And they will tell you, I don't bag down from what, 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 I, what I put in place. That's what I put in place. When you join my church as a female, okay? And, the, and if they on here, I want you to comment. If there's any females on here that go to my church, you comment. I can't speak for other ministries, only mine. 
when you join my church as a female, you no longer can wear leggings at my church. You can't wear no see-through leggings. You can't wear no through sea leggings. You can't, I don't care what kind of leggings or jeggings. They're not allowed. As a female. Now, do I have any females on here? Go to my church. Once you join, these rules are told to you several times. No leggings. Now, if you come in there with leggings on as a member, okay, you are not only disrespecting myself, but the house and the rule of the house. So you are challenging the authority because you told this several times. When you join, I keep going back to this because somebody don't know that he, he's a member of the church. They don't know that. And you, we go over rules in our church all the time. We don't just, no, we, we keep, because we put it in your head, okay? Because some females have slipped up. We pull them to the side. We pull them to the side. Now, have a female ever got put out of my church for leggings on? That's members? Yes. You know why? Because one of them got put out because she said, I don't care what they say. Tell them to buy me some. And we asked her to leave. We asked her to leave. Guess what she did? She finally left and went and put on some real clothes and came back. Okay? That's it. That's it. That's the rule of the house. When he joined the church, he knew this. <clears throat> if you don't like a rule of any house, watch this. Don't go there. Don't go there. That's the rule. You cannot 